everybody, I'm Natalia Bonner. I am so excited to be here today and introduce you to this fun background filler. Now, this background filler is geometric, it's fun. I'm going to quilt it here today with no rulers. This is just going to be free motion quilting. So you can do this on your domestic machine, you can do this on a sit down machine, or like I'm doing, I'm quilting here on my Gamel 22 inch machine. Now, before we actually get all the stitching, I know that somebody's going to start to see what's in the background and wonder, what are you quilting on? I have a brand new free stitch along called the Nine Patch Along. We'd love to have you join. You can find all of the details on our website, peaceandquilt.com, but make sure you register fast. Alrighty though, before we start that Nine Patch Along, you do want to make sure that you know what to quilt in that background. So let's get stitching. I love machine quilting this fun square geometric background filler. I'm going to call it right now a square stipple. You can call it whatever you want. So when I'm quilting out a design like this as a background filler, there's really not very many rules or any rules. You know I don't believe in rules, but there are a few things that I like to take into consideration or keep in mind. So I do want my lines to be pretty geometric, as straight as I can. There's a couple of ways I could approach this. As you can see here, I'm quilting this out completely free motion. When quilting out a design like this, you can use machine quilting rulers and get this background filler really, really nice and crisp and a lot more perfect than what I'm doing here. However, the only reason I'm not doing it that way is because it's quite a bit more time consuming. Every single line, you need to adjust your ruler. So it does take a bit more time. And I feel like if I can keep my lines pretty straight, yeah, they're not perfect. But once I take this quilt off the machine and it relaxes anyways, it still looks great. I still get that geometric effect without using machine quilting rulers. So you can try it with rulers. I recommend it just to get a feel of what it feels like to use the rulers and then try it without. I am actually quilting out this design using a light purple thread. So even though this background filler is a different color, I decided that I wanted to quilt this whole entire top using purple. So anytime you want your machine quilting to stand out just a little bit or add a little bit of interest, use an off color of thread. Try something a little bit different. Like here, the purple is still in the same family, so it kind of matches but it stands out just a little bit and creates a little bit more interest. As I'm quilting out this design, the things that I'm taking into mind or remembering as I'm quilting out is the density. The density is really important. I don't want to quilt one area with really, really heavy quilting and little tiny straight lines and then some areas with loose quilting and long straight lines. So whatever you do as when you're quilting out a design like this is try to be really consistent in your density. As I'm stitching out this design, because I do so much machine quilting with my machine quilting rulers, I like to leave my ruler foot on my machine. The other reason why I like to leave that ruler foot on the machine is I know that the side of my foot is about a quarter of an inch from my needle position. So as I'm stitching out this design, if I try, I'm not perfect at this, but I try to keep my spacing so there's about a quarter of an inch, meaning I'll stitch up to the point where the side of my foot is by my previous stitch line, then I'll adjust. That's a good way for me to help keep it nice and pretty consistent. After that, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm stitching straight lines, adjusting, switching a different direction, filling in as consistent as I can, working my way around. Now with a design like this, I actually do teach you through step-by-step -step photos in my book, Visual Guide to Creative Straight Line Quilting, how to stitch out this design. If it helps for you to grab that book, trace out the actual design and practice, grab a piece of paper, use our quilter's sketchbook, use the graph paper, practice just getting the muscle memory of how to stitch around. With a design like this, the only rule I give myself is I try not to ever cross over my own stitch line. But if you ever feel like you get stuck in a point where you do need to cross over, don't feel like the quilt police are going to come and 
get you, take you to jail for crossing over your own machine quilting. If it looks good to you, then that's good enough for me. found just a bit of inspiration from this fun geometric square stipple background filler. I love quilting out this design. Even though I've used it here as a background filler, it's a fabulous design that you could free motion quilt across a whole entire quilt top. Works very well on quite a variety of quilts. As you can see here, I'm stitching out this fun sample. This is the start of my fun free stitch along the nine patch along. You can learn more about the nine patch along and join us for free on our website, peaceandquilt.com. Have a great day, everybody.